Hey there guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Art Academy. So this time around we are gonna jump right into the lessons and we are gonna draw. I hopefully I get to draw Pikachu and Gengar today. That's that's my goal. Uh, so Pikachu, let's do this. And I think I know what, what I'm gonna do with these two guys here. Uh, it's surely gonna be interesting to watch, hopefully. Welcome to the Pikachu mini lesson, blah blah blah. So, let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, let's get to the drawing, please. At the ears, and boom, bang, boom. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, it tells me to draw in the head and the ears. So this is gonna be interesting. Oh, that's a bit off for my liking. So I th think this is episode eight, right? So only two more uh, episodes, and we can return to uh, some my 3D land. But I definitely need to uh, to play it a bit off screen just to see where we left off and kind of like practice because. <laughs> God knows, it's been like a month or something like that since I uploaded uh, anything Mario, uh, Mario uh, related on the channel. Also, by the time you're watching this, P Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee came out. So, I saw some gameplay of it. It looks really good. Unfortunately, I don't have a Switch. Uh, but definitely, that would probably be the reason to get a Switch. Um, it looks so good. But I, I mean, it, it probably wouldn't. It probably wouldn't really be worth to playing it right now because um, pretty much every Poke Tuber is playing it, uh, which is, you know, understandable. It's new. It's it's kind of like a remake of of um, what you call it uh, of um, of Red and Blue, right? So that's really cool. But yeah, I, I I don't have a switch, um, but I really want one, so I might get one, because we also get Smash and and there's Super Mario Party, which also looks really fun. Um, what else? What else is there? That's really good right now. Smash, uh, Mario Party. I guess uh, uh, Mario Mario um, Tennis is out. And that one looks really good. I never played any... Well, that's a lie. I played the one on the N64. I believe it was. The first one, right? Uh, I played that many moons ago. But I don't... I haven't played any others. I think there was also like a Mario Tennis on the GameCube, I want to say. Um, but I don't... I never really had a GameCube. I had a, a childhood friend who had one. Um, and I love the GameCube, don't get me wrong. So many good games came out on that system. So, it, I, maybe there's also some sort of Mario Tennis on the DS or maybe the 3DS or something like that? Uh, you can let me know down below. So let's see. Yep, let's move on. Wait. I was not supposed to color it, was I? Okay. Uh. That was a bit weird. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So let's do this really quickly. But yeah, also right now I have a really good computer. Um, it's a lot better than... It's pro it's probably the best computer I ever had, believe it or not. Uh, so I might actually try and see if I can get some sort of Elgato uh, capture card installed in it. Uh, because I would definitely love to play some some console games. And it will just be an easier way to do that. 
um, I do have an Xbox right now, and I also believe it or not, I also have a Sega Mega Drive. Um, it's called the Mega Drive here in Europe. Uh, it's basically the Genesis. Um, so I would definitely love to do some console gaming at some point. I think I forgot to draw. I th did I? It wants me to color the whole thing now? I think it... Okay, you know what? Before anything, uh, let me just draw in the mouth. That's a bad one. There we go. And the little nose. And I also want to mark the cheeks. Huh? Give it its features really quickly before anything else. Alright. And then the eyes. Go. Uh, that, that's all right. Uh, and now for the coloring. So let's start with the cheeks. Which are uh, whoops. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's gonna delete it all. Uh, the cheeks are pink. I never really noticed that. I, you know, Pikachu's are red, and Raichu's are yellow, right? But yeah, for some reason, I also thought that P Pikachu's uh, cheeks were were red. And speaking of Pikachu, um, like, I want to say two days ago. Uh, no, that's a lie. Maybe a week ago or something like that. By now, um, the new trailer drop for. For Detective Pokemon, uh, Detective uh, Pikachu, it looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I def that's definitely something I want to see. And I made it sweet about it um, that I kind of also would like to go through um, the game at some point, Detective Pikachu, just to you know, just to hype up the movie. So I might actually consider that. The movie just looks really awesome. I, we never gotten any, you know, Pokemon Live uh, movie before. We have seen some, I believe it was like musical or something like that, uh, way, way, way back, and that was just horrible. Um, I rem there's some clips on it uh, of it on YouTube. You can pretty much just go and search for Pokemon Live, and you will see it. It's it's a sad thing to say the least, um, but yeah, the new ones looks really good with the CGI and such, and and that. So that's definitely also a movie that I really want to see. In in the trailer, I remember we saw uh, Mr. Mime, <laughs> and Mr. Mime looks so creepy. I don't know why. That that, that Mr. Mime is not really well made, if you ask me. But who cares, right? It's Mr. Mime. Um, but Pikachu is so goddamn adorable, and there was also a shot of Greninja, multiple Greninjas, I believe it was, um, that also looked really awesome. And who else saw we? We saw we saw Charizard. Yeah, we saw Charizard. That was awesome too. Like Charizard was about to eat Pikachu or something like that. Pikachu was falling and. It looked like Charizard was about to try and eat uh, eat him from the trailer. I think it was the first trailer I saw. I'm, I'm not sure if they had dropped uh, any new trailers since. But man, 2019 is going to be an awesome year for, for movies. We get the final... Uh, I think it's the final... Um, whatchamacallit? Adventures movie dropping. Um, part 2 of the Infinity War. And... We also get my childhood um, movie with in in in, in Toy Story uh, four, believe it or not. Um, so I hope they so I hope that's a really gonna turn out to be a really good movie, because I mean I loved Toy Story three. That was so good, um, and so sad at the same time. It was just 
and fantastic movie. And to be honest, they could just have wrapped it up there. You know, the 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 gang got a new kid, um, and Andy moved to college and such. So I'm really interesting to see what they will do in the fourth movie. And let's see what else drops. Um, I guess Captain Marvel, right? Also drops in 2019. And Spider-Man Far From Home, I cannot wait to see that. Uh, I, 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 I didn't get to watch the Venom movie. Um, which kind of saddens me, because I only heard good things about it, and I've seen some clips of it. And it, it does look really good, but I never went to the movies. At first I was a bit skeptical, because you know, nah, a Venom movie without Spider-Man. It sounded a bit weird, but the more I looked into it and saw uh, that Venom actually had a whole, you know, comic line on his own was awesome. And I saw the uh, the banter between Eddie Brock and, and Venom, and it looks really good. It's really hilarious to see the dialogue between those two. And Tom Hardy does, I believe he did the voice also for Venom. And he had like a m microphone, or not a microphone, but uh, a headset or something like that in one of his ears with uh, with the dialogue from Venom so he could respond to it uh, right on the right on the set uh, which was really cool so there's no voice over anything like that um, and plus you know this is gonna be a really bad opinion for many people but when Tom Hardy, uh, Tom Hardy got the role as Bane I didn't like it too much. Nothing against the guy; he's awesome. But I, I don't know why. I just didn't really like uh, how Bane was portrayed in in Batman. Um, so I didn't really give much for it there. But how how the way they did it in um in um. And Venom was really awesome, and I'm probably gonna go watch it when it comes out, maybe on on DVD or maybe even if it comes out, you know, on some sort of streaming uh, service like Spotify, not Spotify, <laughs> wow, Netflix or something like that, HBO or whatever. Um, I'm definitely gonna watch it there. Probably not HBO because why would it come out there? But if it comes out on Netflix or something like that, I'm definitely gonna watch it. But it's not, probably not gonna be until uh, next year or something like that oops it could also come out on YouTube believe it or not um, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it but you can actually rent movies on YouTube which is really cool um, I haven't done it myself yet I haven't tried it um, but it costs like 20 no not 20 bucks that's too much I don't know how much it is in dollars but it's it's fairly cheap um, because well where I live we don't use uh, the, the, the dollars so I can't really see how much it is on the go but it's fairly cheap um, so I mean if you missed any big movies you can certainly just go to YouTube and there is a category where you can rent movies there kinda like it works kinda like Blockbuster actually so that's kinda cool I might check that out um, because I haven't watched, I have I haven't watched um, Spider-Man: Homecoming yet, and I definitely want to see that before I watch Far From Home. Um, let me just do this really quickly. There we go. Uh, I definitely want to watch that before Far From Home, um, and you can watch it on YouTube right now if you pay so a certain amount of money for it. You know, it's kind of like a uh, well. As I said before, it is a uh, like a rent, so I I really want to do that. Want to? I kind of want to test it out and see how it is. Um, YouTube has a lot of weird, you know, things going on from time to time, like the music service. I don't know a single person who uses that, and I only heard bad things about it like there's too many uh, advertisements um, between songs so I don't know if if it's something that I want to do I have Spotify but I mean it could be really good 
and I haven't I've not used a uh, YouTube what's it called YouTube red right um, I haven't used that but if any of you guys have please let me know if it's worth to watch uh, exclusive content uh, it's certainly an awesome way to support your I mean it's an awesome way to support your you know your favorite um, content creator if they make a s big big movie or something like that like um, there's something that I really want to watch and that's you know Game Grumps um, good game series and I believe that's YouTube Red but I just haven't had the time or a willpower to to sign up for YouTube Red uh, yet and and I you know I don't want to watch it uh, legally so so that's why I haven't done it um, they are two of my favorite peoples uh, on YouTube and if I can support them by you know watching watching their content um, something that's exclusive and you need some and you need to pay for it and something like that I would definitely do it I wouldn't go up and look it up illegally and that goes for everything <laughs> I suppose but especially with the Game Crumbs good game series um, I don't condone pirating at all don't do that um, I say that and I play on an emulator right now but honestly if you I, I think isn't there some rule if you have the game it's okay to do it or something like that I'm not sure how it works um, but I believe as long as you have the game you can do it I'm not sure uh, how to prove it maybe just take a picture or something like that and I might do it uh, and just upload it to my to my Twitter and if you you know if you're not following me on Twitter you should definitely go and and do that I there there's a link down below for that um, and I, I, I basically use my my Twitter to just you know ramble on <laughs> um, random stuff whenever I upload whenever I am recording um, just whenever there's something on my mind it can also be hey hey guys I just woke up have an awesome day or something like that um, and I love to interact with people that's the best part believe it or not there is a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of scumbags on on, on um, on Twitter from time to time but honestly there's so many good people too okay sorry I was just a bit concentrated there we are almost done with pick two and we are roughly 20 minutes in I believe almost 19 minutes okay I was just looking at the timer don't think we have time for Ginga because I know what I want to do with it um, and it's gonna take a long time because it's gonna be more detailed than, than Pikachu here what I was trying to go for here with Pikachu was basically the spiked eared one uh, the special Pikachu so let's see how we did it that looks weird Oh no, I gave it Pikachu's tails, didn't I? <laughs> You're not gonna raid mine? That looks alright actually. I like that a lot. Pikachu! <clears throat> and let's go ahead and save and finish. I kind of want to go back and see in the album. I don't know if I did anything between uh, the last one and this one. Let me just check really quickly. I don't think I did. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's see. 
I already showed this one, and I already showed this one. Yeah, I didn't do anything between. Okay, so there it is. The today's drawing, the picture one. Uh, but I don't think we have time for another one, guys. So I think I'm actually gonna end off the video right here. So thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and if you really like this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out in the end. But until then, stay cool, my friends.